Hello everyone, iSchool Tech here. Now we're going to be taking a look to see how the iPhone 7 handles the latest beta of iOS 14, iOS 14.4 Beta 2. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Now, taking a look at general performance on the iPhone 7 while running iOS 14.4 Beta 2, I have noticed no increase or decrease in most day-to-day -day tasks such as launching apps, playing casual games, visiting websites, using Safari, etc. Now, the iPhone 7's 4-year-old A10 Fusion processor still manages to push right through the task at hand in most cases. Now, in other words, performance is literally unchanged from previous iOS 14 releases. Now, moving over to RAM management, it is safe to say that nothing has changed in this area since early releases of iOS 14 as well. As this iPhone still runs off of 2GB of RAM, naturally, I have noticed more reloads than the iPhone 11, per se, but mainly when several heavier apps are open in the background. Now, what are animations anyway? Like, who said that they had to be smooth, right? I mean, come on. Alright, seriously though, the iPhone 7's animations are almost just fine. All system animations on iOS 14.4 Beta 2 have been very smooth, with the exception of, you guessed it, the unlock animations. Unlock stuttering is back, but not nearly as bad as before, lasting about just a second or two. Now, as for missing unlock animations, still present, still super common. This does remain unchanged from Beta 1, in case you were wondering. Now, I'd love to hear about your experience with unlock animations in the comments. Now, before I get into battery life, I should take a second to mention that my iPhone 7 is running off of a maximum battery capacity of 90% and has never had a restart. This means that my iPhone 7 is not being performance throttled. Now, what's your maximum capacity? Definitely make sure to let me know in the comments. Incredible. For the first time in a very long time, I can finally say that the battery life has significantly improved with this iOS 14.4 beta. Now, battery life is nowhere even as close to being as bad as the iPhone SE first generation on the same iOS beta. While it has gotten noticeably better, it's still not even close to its peak. I've actually gotten through a full day with light use while I needed to charge the iPhone once or twice throughout the day with medium use and heavy use. Oh boy, I don't even think I need to explain that one. Now, standby time has also been much better. I'm noticing a drain of about 10% per night, which is half of what it was on iOS 14.2 or iOS 14.3. While it's still not really good, it's much better. Now, keep in mind that your battery life can and will most likely vary from mine. Now, overheating is still an issue, but reduced. I've only noticed the iPhone getting slightly warm, nothing too hot, although this is when performing mid-weight tasks, so that does make it a little bit more common than not. I personally believe that this is as good as it's going to get. Now, when directly compared to iOS 14.3, general performance and RAM management is pretty much the same. Animations so far improved. Battery life, surprisingly, it is better for once. Overheating, nearly identical, but this still leads us to our main question of should you update? Well, it really does depend. I would not recommend installing this beta firmware on your iPhone 7 if it is your daily driver or primary device. However, if it's a spare device that you have lying around, then I'd say go for it. Alright everyone, that is all I have for this video. Now, if you do have any questions or you'd just like to say hi, make sure to leave a comment down below. Of course, you can definitely make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description below. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.